Hello and welcome to channel Unlocks Hub. Today in this video I'll be showing you how to remove iCloud or activation lock on this iPhone 7 Plus. This iPhone 7 Plus is running on the iOS version 14.6. I'll be removing the iCloud activation lock and also I'll be updating it to the latest iOS version which is the iOS 15.1. Do watch the video completely without skipping any part. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get notified as soon as we post a new video. If you need the package and the files, do email us on our email address given in the video description. You can also message us on the Kick Messenger platform, our username will be given right below this video and as well as in the video description. Let's begin the video without wasting much time, click on the smart flash option and go to pro flash there. Now you have to put the device into DFU mode. To do that just you can follow the on screen instructions or follow the video. Press the volume down once and hold the power button until the device turns off completely. Or you can even slide to power off. Now hold the volume down and power button for about 5 seconds. Now let go of the power button, keep pressing the volume down button. And you can see it says DFU mode here and it says iPhone 7 Plus. This is an iPhone 7 Plus and I have shown you that it is running on the iOS version 14.6 I'll be updating it to the latest iOS version which is the iOS 15.1 The first step is to click on the query compatible SSH option Once that is completed click on the import firmware option here and select the Unlocks Hub iOS 15.1 iPhone 7 Plus IPSW, click on open and you can see here it says current firmware is Unlocks Hub iOS 15.1 which is the latest iOS version from Apple and it says iPhone 7 Plus here. Let just click on the flash option, I will be selecting the retain users data so all my Wi-Fi password and other passwords will be saved and I don't have to enter it one more time, click on yes and the installation starts, you can see the progress here. Just wait for the installation to complete. If you need the files, do email us on our email address given in the video description. You can also message us on the Kick Messenger platform. Our username will be given right below the video as well as in the video description. If you have any doubts or questions, kindly ask in the comment section. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get notified as soon as we post a new video. This whole process takes somewhere around 20 to 25 minutes. Make sure you have enough time to do it. Do not unplug your device at any point of time. Also make sure you use the original USB cable of the device. Sometimes the third party USB cables may fail to work. You can see the installation has started. It says flash complete, just wait for the phone to turn on completely. Do not unplug your device. You can now see the device is installing, this is the stage where the iCloud data is loaded back to the device. 
Just wait for the phone to turn on completely. Do not unplug your device yet. You can now see the device is already turned on. Let me just set up the phone and show you if the iCloud lock is present or not. Let me go through the settings very quickly. Yes, it says welcome to iPhone and let me just click on this get started option and now we are inside this iPhone 7 plus let me go to settings and you can log in with your own Apple ID and password without any problem let me click on the iDevice option and you can see it says iPhone 7 plus running on iOS version 15.1 so we just came from iOS 14.6 to iOS 15.1. Many of you were asking to show if the phone can be turned off and turned on without any problem. Let me just show that to you. I'm just turning off the phone and also I'll be disconnecting it. Many of you asked me to disconnect the phone and turn it off and turn it on and show what happens when you restart the phone. Let me just turn on the phone now. And the phone just turns back on like a normal phone without any problem. Let me also connect the phone and show you you can see it says iPhone 7 plus iOS version 15.1 and yes this is how you remove the iCloud lock or activation lock permanently on any iPhones for that matter do watch our other videos we have done multiple videos on the latest iPhone 12 series 11 series and other iPads as well if you like the video, do hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get notified as soon as we post a new video. Thank you for watching guys. Have a great day. Take care. Bye bye.